Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And tonight's video is going to be about using the shift key with your pick tool to, well, I'm just going to show you. It's kind of hard to explain. But anyway, this Eclipse, I hit P, it's in the center of the page. And if I wanted to resize it and not do it numerically up here, I would just hold down one of the skew buttons and make it smaller. But the problem with that, let's do this. Let's go control D and make a duplicate of it. Now we want the second one in the center of that. Well, that didn't work. But if you will hold down the shift key and, and grab this, it'll bring it in equally to the center. One reason this would be valuable, let's say if you had a, let's just call this a two inch circle. I don't know what it is. Let's put this text in the center with a P and you're just going to see if it's going to fit. Well, the old way would just be to take this and move it and then hit P and put it in the center of the page, but you could hold down the shift key and gradually move it in and out to get it where you want it. So this would work with a font or some words or it's going to work. See if we, if we do that, we don't get anywhere. But if you hold down the shift key, when you're moving it, you can see whether it's going to fit and, you know, try to get it as big as you can on your little disc that you're going to engrave. So with that said, one other thing that would be handy for, if you're going to make a frame, just, you know, not a certain size frame, just hold down your, well, let's make a duplicate of it, control D, hold down the shift key and just bring it in. And now you've got a frame. So the shift key is pretty cool when you're moving stuff around from the corners. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.